Hi, I'm Randy Martins. I'm one of the product designers for Avid Media Composer Editing Products. If you've ever worked with stock footage before, you know what a complicated workflow can be. Sifting multiple catalogs or websites and downloading clips, or even worse, waiting several days for a tape to show up in the mail and then ultimately match framing that in by hand. Avid Engineering and Avid Product Design has partnered with Thought Equity Motion to create a powerful in-application experience that allows you to browse, download, purchase, and relink those clips all within Media Composer. So let's take a look. Let's suppose I'm working on a show that involves dune buggies. And I'm looking for a shot of dune buggies. So I'm going to create a, a bin called dune buggies. I'm going to leave that open. And I'm going to go to our marketplace menu. We'll pick media libraries. You'll be linked through to the Thought Equity Avid Media Libraries page. It's from here that you'll create an account, or if you already have an account, you'll sign in. So I'm just going to log myself in here. And once we're logged in, we can now browse and download clips. So I'm going to do a search for dune buggies. And it will find all of the dune buggy clips within the catalog. So I'm just going to browse down and take a look. We'll notice that if I hold my mouse over a clip, that the video clip will begin to play. So there's two workflows that we can do here. We can either download a single clip or we can download a collection of clips. Let's start with a single clip first. So once I recognize that I like this clip, I can come over and click on the downward arrow to download the comp clip. Once I click on that, it's going to provide me with the ability to either customize my download comp or I can download the comp directly. If I select the option for a customized clip, we can burn in time code or the asset name. It takes about 15 minutes for this clip to be prepared and posted for you, but you'll receive an email notification when it's ready. But for the sake of this demonstration, let's just download the comp clip first. So I'm going to click on Download Comp. You'll notice once the download is complete that the clip automatically appears in your bin, linked via AMA. If I double click on the clip, you'll notice it's available immediately for editing. This clip lands into the Avid Download Files folder, which is located at the root level of your hard drive or based on your media creation import settings. Wherever that location is pointing to is where we will create the Avid Download Files folder. So that was a download of a single clip. But what if you want more than one clip? What if you want to browse the catalog and get a collection of clips? Well, there's a workflow for that too. If I go to the Thought Equity page, I can create a bin. It's much like an Avid bin, same idea. It's a folder that we can basically put multiple clips into. So under My Bins, I'm going to click on Create a New Clip Bin, and I'm going to name this bin Dune Buggies. And once that bin is created, we can see that it's a folder here waiting for us to populate it with clips. So I'm going to scroll down, and we've already downloaded one of these guys, so we already have that one linked in our bin. But let's say I take uh, the next two. I take this one, and I take this one. I can then mark the clips, and then return to the top, select my clip tools, and then add selected to dune buggies. I can then look at my bin, dune buggies, and it's populated those clips here. And rather than downloading them one by one, I can just select my collection and then download these clips directly into my Avid bin. So I'm going to download these two comp clips. You'll notice the progress bar in the lower left. And once that's complete, I'm going to minimize my window, and you'll notice that these two clips have now come into my bin. I can double click on them, and they're ready for editing. So let's cut a few clips into the sequence. I'm going to mark a little bit of one, and I'm going to cut it in. I'm going to mark this shot, and I have a nice angle of them coming around the corner. Cut that in. A little of that. I'm going to cut this shot in. And we have ourselves a dune buggy sequence. It looks a little something like this. Not only do I have the comp clips in here, I also get a certain amount of metadata that comes along for the ride. So if I was to come over here, I could do a right click on this sequence and do a stock footage report. This will tell me what stock footage I have in my timeline. So if I have a 60 minute timeline that's got a few clips in it, it will only identify the stock footage clips that are available. It'll show you the duration, the source tracks, 
where it goes in and out, the clip name, etc. And when I'm ready to make the purchase of this, I can right click and I can select buy stock footage. It'll take me back to the Thought Equity website and it will provide me with clipping information. Clipping information is basically I downloaded a comp clip, but I didn't use all of it. So in other words, I don't want to be charged for the full 10, 20, 30 seconds of clip if I only used five seconds. So you'll notice down here that we show the full clip duration and the amount of clip that we used. Once I'm happy to understand what I'm purchasing, I can click on the Add Cart, and my clip will be added to our purchase cart. So these clips are, are rights managed. So ultimately, you're going to have to fill out a, a rights management form based on the use of your product. So ultimately, once we select our licensing type, we can click to add to cart and proceed to checkout. Now once we check out, it's a credit card purchase or it may even be a phone call depending on the rights management of the clip. However, many purchases can be made directly with a credit card. Once the, once the purchase has been approved, your stock footage clips will be available for high res. So let's take a look at pulling down some high res clips. I can go to my orders. I can go to download masters. I agree to the terms and conditions of the download, the rights management, and I download the master. While this is downloading, you can continue to work in Media Composer. Just send the window to the back and you can, you can play, you can continue to edit. Once the download is complete, I can return to my bin and I'll find all of my high resolution clips are now linked via AMA. No watermarks. So now, I want to be able to, rather than match frame these back in, is just have the power of relinking do it for me. So I'm going to select my sequence and my high resolution clips. I'm going to right click and I'm going to select relink to stock footage sequence. We will generate a new sequence and we can see there are no more watermarks. So there you have it, a complete in-application experience allowing you to browse, download, purchase, and relink high-resolution stock footage files directly in Avid Media Composer.